So I wanted to do this um, clarification because uh, there's something that Cloud9 uh, recently changed in terms of their um, linting. And linting is kind of like a, a program, a software, that is constantly checking if you have any kind of like mistakes or errors on the, on the code that you're writing. And they recently, uh, they've been kind of like improving their Python uh, support for, you know, things like uh, an API and um, better, better kind of like linting and support. And one thing that they introduced that uh, it's not, um, doesn't help uh, kind of like our, uh, the way that we've been writing the code is that um, they now, you need to like um, specifically uh, tell them or, or tell the editor the path where your virtual environment uh, libraries work. And I'm going to show you an example and um, so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So I have this like test import um, workspace and I'm going to do a new file here. And um, so I'm going to do, um, actually let me, let me save it, let me create the file from here, a new file. And I'm call, calling that hello py. So um, I have a virtual env already that have uh, that has Flask imported. Uh, I mean installed in it. And as you can see here, if I go to site packages, you'll see that I have I have Flask in there, right? However, um, there's a little problem now that um, if I if I go ahead and start doing my code, and um, remember that you need to like um, um, source uh, uh, virtual environment activate here, but that's even before that. Um, if you do from uh, uh, Flask, import Flask, right? And you try to like continue working in your code base, um, you'll see that you eventually get like a little like red, um, uh, red sign here saying like meaning that the code editor is not finding flask um sometimes it takes a little bit to to appear but um let's see if i can open another let's see i open readme here and looking at his this here and see i get this like unable to import uh flask and let's forget for about this for a moment so what's happening here is that it's um the editor is not able, is not finding the, the where the what that Flask library is, and it's currently looking just at the at the current path uh, where the, the Python path that they have pre-installed, which is the one on the uh, on the main server. So what we need to do to have that disappear, and you'll see red access for other things um, that are um, imports from your virtual environment packages. Um, I spoke to, to, to Cloud9 and they actually like were very helpful and tried to um, kind of like work with me this, this issue. But what you need to do to get the, the, red, the red access go away is you need to like ex explicitly tell the editor where the side packages of your virtual environment uh, are. And the way you do that is the following. You go to the VNV, go to lib, so open your lib here, and then go to Python 3.4, right? And then go to site packages. And there, right click in there and just put something that says open terminal here. If you see that, um, it'll take you to the to the to to that path. And then you just do PWD, which is, you know, person working directory. And you'll get this, 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 uh, this path. This is the path from the beginning. I mean, from the root of the server to your site packages of your virtual environment. So just make sure to copy there. Um, just um, uh, command C or control C. And then you go to the gears here and where it says um, hints and uh, I mean, language support, you'll see there's a Python path now in there. And you see there's 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 two paths in there. Those are the ones from the from the server. Make sure you go to the end of the line in there, put a semicolon, and then paste the the, the path that you, you copied. So you see here it's the site packages, Python 3.4, VNV, lib, etc. 
And um, as you can see here, it's, it's it has a semicolon be, be, before the the one that, that, that was already there. So you, you, you press enter, you don't need to do like save or anything, it automatically saves that. And then close, and close this one as well. And you see that this is gonna go away in a, in a, in a minute, um, because now it's finding the, the path for, for Flask. So you can continue working here, um, and it eventually goes away, see? So that's the thing, it's a little bit of a, of a hassle because before, at least from when I was working with it, um, it didn't have that that uh, that problem, but now you need to to do that. You need to set your Python path and add the um, add that uh, add library um, that side packages path. Um, and if you see any 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 like little red X's with any of the packages you're trying to import, kind of like look at where they're stored. And if you don't have that, um, kind of like in here, but it's installed somewhere else in this Python 3.4. Um, kind of like directories, just go ahead and put another semicolon and add the path where the containing path or folder where that library is. So that's the update. Um, hopefully that will solve any problems. And if you have any issues, just, uh, just ping me.